And this morning we're celebrating National Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. It recognizes the contributions and the influence of these people in the United States. And Daybreak's Alexander Rios Melvia has a more personal look at the UB president and his impact after more than a decade in Western New York. From a small village in Patna, Uttar Pradesh, India, to Midside City in Buffalo, New York, USA, Dr. Satish Tripathi <laughs> is making his mark in Western New York through higher education. Institutions, you know, the presidents come and go, the other administrators come and go, but really institution is built by the faculty. They're here for, for almost all their life. And so if you're able to attract and retain the best faculty, you can build the institution for a long time. He comes from a family of educators. The only thing we had was education. And knows firsthand the power of education. In the, in the whole village, we were only one, only family that had education. Dr. Tripathi is entering his 13th year as the University at Buffalo president, and he came with a plan, a plan called UB 2020. The idea was really to improve the research quality, the educational quality of the institution. Not that it wasn't good before. Another part of the plan was how to make an impact in the regional and local economy. One of the first things we did actually right after I became president, within a few months, uh, we announced that the medical school will move to downtown. It's a big project. As you can see, that whole movement has changed the uh, sort of outlook in, in terms of downtown Buffalo, in terms of the economy there. And then, of course, our students here, we, we provide a lot of entrepreneurship education. Growing the student body right away wasn't a priority. But within the last five years, UB has grown 2,500 students. The students are not going to come because I'm the president here. They are coming because they can get a good education at a reasonable price. They also want to make sure that the research that they do is relevant and has an impact. In order for us to compete for uh, things that are nationally available and competitive, and for example, we just got a major award, National Science Foundation awarded a AI Research Center, Artificial Intelligence Research Center. It's not that we want to work in AI, we have been working in AI, we have been leader in AI, but this project really has impact, real impact, on the children who have learning and speech deficiency. UB has also won an international and in health grant on how to look at clinical trials, how to remove the disparities in clinical care. Uh, proud because we are able to have them compete, but th we are attracting those kind of students here as well. And many of them will stay here. But Dr. Tripathi feels one of his biggest accomplishments is getting those students here in the first place. Uh, in, in one sentence? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, UV is a major public research university, which is really there for access. A third of our students are Pell eligible students. Many of them are first generation students who come here and they go to go, go to do big things and great success. We actually train them, we educate them. A place to come, make your career, and serve the world. And I really want to emphasize what Dr. Tripathi said. He says, when it comes to institutions, the presidents come and go. Institutions are built by the faculty. They are here for almost all their life. And he says, if you are able to attract and obtain the best faculty, you can build the institution for a very long time. And as we wrap up Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, it's really great to celebrate someone like Dr. P Tripathi, who has made Buffalo home and stayed here for so long as the head of UB. Yeah, it's made an impact for sure. Thank you very much for bringing that story.